and I've I've really been real impressed with um, with Madeline since I since she came in and she was the new terminal drive band manager. So it was a real treat for me to sit down and talk to her. And I'm hoping we'll have a chance to actually do a longer interview, maybe even a little bit more polished, where we where we come up with some good questions. And especially again, looking forward to a ride along with her because that's kind of been a dream of mine when I watch the. Um, the company videos when I've seen the corporate people riding with the driver and I felt like wow someday it'd be great if I could do that and if, if all the people I can think of uh, with night transportation that that would be awesome with it would be Madeline so stay tuned for that I really believe that's around the corner but for now this is just kind of a going to be a teaser um, just a little bit of the interview I'm waiting for the the YouTube video the whole interview to download it's still downloading so that's going to be coming up as soon as, as soon as that's done I'm going to then dress it up a little bit because I really want to give it some TLC because um, Madeline gave me some time and I really want to make it kind of really special and then I'm going to pass it on to Madeline and it'll just be kind of for me just kind of a baby step for us to maybe start having some regular conversations however regular that would be once a month or um, you know once in a while having one of these interviews set up when we can both fit it in because I'm out on the road she's in the office I'm going to <laughs> pass through oftentimes when I'm coming coming um, to the terminal it's after hours she's not there and sometimes I'm in a hurry you know so believe it or not it's hard it's hard when you've got operation side and you've got the driving side because we're all the drivers we're always moving you know we're 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 rocking and rolling we're moving and then Madeline's extremely busy with her staff so this was a rare, rare thing. I can't overemphasize how special it was. So I'm looking forward to us doing it sometime. I guess it'll probably have to be kind of a spontaneous thing. But for right now, this is just kind of a little, I, what I did was I just took um, the longer ones being um, downloaded. And so what, I, what I'm doing is just kind of like made a shorter little like 11 minute section of the longer one, just kind of like, it's kind of like a sneak preview. Oh, I want to point out Madeline, um, it was about two weeks ago. Th this really got me excited. About two weeks ago, she said I watched one of your, I actually listened to one of your videos. I couldn't watch it. I had to listen to it on the way to work. And she said something like, we had to do a three or four day road trip. Now, I don't know when that's going to happen, but that got me real excited because I've been doing all these crazy videos, but I would just by myself in the truck. And I've been talking about how great the culture is. But to have Madeline actually physically in the truck, and I've seen all the uh, night transportation videos that they've yeah. done. It's always been my dream to actually do a company. You have to take dreams in little bite-sized pieces. <laughs> exactly. So it was my dream, and by you putting that out there, me not saying it, my higher consciousness or my higher self went, wow, that could be a first step. And that got me real excited because I can not only talk about the, you know, driving a truck, you know, hooking up to a trailer, lay, raising the landing gear, all the stuff that a brand new person has to learn as a new driver. But we can also talk about the mindset mm -hmm. and the vision and all that stuff that we don't have time to talk about here. So that's in the works. And I have Madeline here. <laughs> we don't know when we're going to do that or how we're going to do it. We'll work out the logistics. Yeah. But that to me is real exciting because most companies aren't going to do that. Yeah, the, I don't know. they're not going to ride in the truck just to check it out. Yeah, and plus, you have have you been on a ride along yet? Mm -hmm. You have. So, what was it like? Tell, talk about that. What was it like? I I think it was exactly what I expected it to be. I don't know if I just spent a lot of time thinking about it before, um, but even when I talk to drivers on the phone about what they're dealing with, mm -hmm. I really try to put myself in that position so I can understand it. Right, I can understand it fully and then understand how I can insert myself, at, like how it can support. You know, in those instances where where you have to troubleshoot, just just so I can like you know kind of feel it with them instead of like okay, well you know call breakdown and see how that works oh, out yeah, for you. Yeah, you know, yeah. I really really try to help, um, and so I I didn't think it was all that different than what I expected it to be, um, and I've spent enough time on the yard here, like I've seen like the drop and hook type of scenario. I've I've seen like the pre-trips and proper pre-trips okay. um and just kind of like the whole thing so it wasn't it was kind of like it you had an idea what it's like but yeah. to act, there's nothing like really experiencing and i want to add something yeah. when, just so i don't forget this yeah. i had two experiences with you that really impressed me and i've been 
to be full disclosure, I was with another company for three years. So I haven't been with like 10 companies, but I have had a comparison with two companies and it's night and day. But there was um, one time I remember, you'll probably remember this. There was a time, um, it wasn't too long ago. I, I don't like to call you or call, I like to try to solve things myself, but mm -hmm. I had spent two hours trying to find my loaded trailer and I called you and it was even after hours. It was getting close to five o'clock, 1700 when you knock off, but I couldn't find my loaded trailer. Mm -hmm. So I, I texted you and I said, I couldn't find my loaded trailer. And you texted me back and you said something like, you'll find it, I have faith in you. And then the bottom line is you went to bat for me and you assisted me and it was after hours. And there was another time with Michael that it was right up against the 1700 and, and the, my load blew, blew up. So I was trying to get this load home and you took the extra time to go on the phone, even though it was after hours to dispatch a load so I can get home. And you didn't have to do that. A lot of people, a lot of other companies, they would just say, oh, just call, call after hours, right. I'm going home. Right. But you ended up getting a load for me, ended up getting me home. So you do that constantly. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> and that's, that's a huge thing because not, it's just not normal. Yeah, I know, but I under, so those are the things that I understand. Like I understand you're trying to get home. I understand you're frustrated. It's the end of the day, it's dusk. You know, there's no one else there to help you. There's five, you know, five rows of trailers and I've been out here trying to search for a trailer before and I can't find it and I'm like, what the <laughs> heck, it's, I know it's out here. I, I pinged it and the GPS is showing it's right there and I can't find it. And so like, okay, just kind of like take a deep breath and look again and you end up finding it. So yeah, I did like find it. And, and, and what I've noticed too, you probably can relate to this. What I find, what I try to do, cause I, I, I practice kind of a Zen approach or a Buddhist approach. Mm -hmm. so I, I'm really into Eastern philosophy and part of it is to just kind of take a deep breath, be mindful, try to look at things, try not to let the situation get the best of you. And like, for example, when I couldn't find that trailer, I didn't get all upset what I did. And I think I even told you over the text or whatever, I'm gonna go talk to the supervisor. And now I was actually really frustrated, but instead of blowing up on him, mm -hmm. I went to him and I was kind. I, you know, it's part of Eastern loving kindness and compassion. Right. And I just said, sir, I was, and I was honest, I said, I've been looking for this empty and, or this loaded trailer and I can't find it anywhere. To be honest with you, my time's running out and if I have to, I may have to just go back to our yard, which is close. And if you could just find it between now and tomorrow morning, I'll come back tomorrow morning. I was really kind of mm -hmm. calm about it. And he said, no, let me take care. Because I was calm and I didn't attack him or I didn't make him wrong. He said, let me go talk to my supervisor and we'll get this handled. Mm -hmm. And then he came back, the supervisor came back to me and said, no, 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 we'll take care of it. And and he got on the phone and within 10 minutes they had my trailer. But what I found out happened, they buried my trailer. How many places they bury your loaded trailer when it's a preloaded trailer behind five trailers where I couldn't see it and I couldn't get to it. Yeah. But the point is they, they took care of me. And it was because a combination of you and keeping a you know calm attitude and they got taken care of and I took the trailer back and went back to the Fontana yard with about four minutes to spare. Yeah. <laughs> my I mean, give yourself the most credit in that situation. <laughs> that was all you. Um, but yeah, and those things happen, I think, pretty often. And so it's easy to get wrapped up in the emotions sometimes and get very frustrated and then get consumed by your frustration and then you can't see anything outside of that. And also you have to realize that, that like some of the driver managers when I've said stuff like, my God, and they'd say something like, that's trucking. <laughs> so we're, yeah, a lot, <laughs> we're, we're kind of like the airline industry to a certain degree because, you know, we have mechanical breakdowns. We have weather issues. We, hours of service. Hours of service. We, we have, um, play, we're picking up on a time, delivering on time. We have thousands of trucks and lots of moving parts to make this happen. Yeah. And inevitably, if, as much as you strive for perfection, it's not a reality. It's, stuff is going to happen. So what I love about night is I just mentioned, and I'm going to wrap up with this because I know Madeline's busy. She has to get back to work. But I told her, this is kind of, to me, like a paid personal development program that you get paid to do. Because now that I have my job down and, and I'm pretty good at it, I'm past the, I call it grasshopper stage. What's cool is now I'm, 
applying personal development type principles in the job. There's lots of time to meditate, to think, to read, to listen yep. to positive tapes that you don't have on a regular job. So that's something to consider with this job is the intangibles with this job. Now, last, I'm trying to think of a last question. Okay, last question. <laughs> Um, what do you see as maybe some of your next steps or some things that, that you've thought about that you want to, how you want to take things to the next level? Any visions or goals or ideas? Me personally? Yeah, with, with, with you personally and with, the, with your job or, your, or the company. Um, I don't know. I've always been kind of the person. That you're in the that, moment. Yeah. I've always been kind of the person that... Um, thinks about more than just what's in front of me, which may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. Um, but also in the way of like, I think outside the box and I think about new ideas, like how to make things better in anything I encounter, right? Like, even though my job is here, I can encounter every, all, you know, all these other people along the way in my day. And then in every single one of those things, like I know that I'm not the only person doing that. So like, how could I make this a better process or, you know, a better experience for everybody and who's involved. Um, and so when I, when I think about those things, um, you know, some of the things I'd like to fix are just maybe processes in general, because there are so many that can be improved whether it's with technology or people or communication or you know all of the above um i can't really like pinpoint anything specifically oh, that's, okay. that's, I understand. that's interesting um for anyone to really know well about. i'll give you i'll give an example, like a short just, example. Just, I'll, I'll just wrap up with this because i know you need to go for example with just me in general when i started um driving 12 years ago we had paper logs we don't have mm -hmm. paper logs mm -hmm. anymore we have e-logs when i started driving we had a manual transmission now we have automatic transmission yep uh, when I started, we didn't have apps on our phone. We had those big clunky, uh, like, communication devices with the cord. Now we have a real streamlined tablet. Now I can get all my communication on my phone. Yeah. So I can see just in the last nine years how technology has influenced my job. So I'm excited with truck driving. I wish I was, like, 30-something, and I had more years to watch this develop. Oh, yeah. So it's got to be exciting for you, too. And it sounds like you're just kind of in the moment but aware of ways that you can contribute and kind of make it better mm -hmm. and just you're kind of in the moment but i think it's an, i think i think truck driving the bottom line for me truck driving isn't what most people think it is that aren't in the industry yeah. like once you get involved with it it's, i think it's a pretty exciting thing yeah and then plus bottom line with night there's a lot involved. There's drivers, there's management. There's a lot of room for advancement too. Someone could start as a driver and go into being a driver manager or a planner or, mm -hmm. or go into the corporate side. They don't necessarily have to be a driver forever. Yeah. So there's lots of room for growth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always and everywhere. So anyway, that I took a lot of your time. I appreciate that. I'm, now, I, with Madeline's permission, I'm going to go on my home time and I'm <laughs> going to make one of my videos and I'm going to put this on the video and talk about how wonderful the management is. Now, well, I, I could even send this to you, see if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think probably you did. won't. I don't like myself on camera. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you did great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and it's hat day, it's, and that's oh, why I'm wearing this hat. <laughs> I don't wear it every day. And you have and you have stars on it. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully, we'll do the the drive drive soon.